welcome back Nia Momerai, mm -hmm. is there any particular reason why you chose this particular location as your set? Well, actually, it's it's uh, all coincidental, but uh, uh, it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the basic reason f was I love Flores. I love the whole island yeah. of Flores. I think it's one of the most beautiful in Indonesia, not only the nature, but also the people. Um, and I just want to want the, my three sisters to be to, to find a spot that is not uh, too mainstream mm -hmm. in a sense in a way um, I love Labuan Bajo I, I brought my kids there and we had a really nice time there and then it's one of my favorite spot as well but when I came back to Labuan Bajo it's it's already becoming too touristy yeah. and too commercial yeah. and so uh, you know, Flores is big, <laughs> so I just That's try true. another That's spot. True. And um, luckily, I found an old family friend who also just built a new hotel, a new boutique in hotel Maumere. there in Maumere. And then he said, uh, Why don't you just look at uh, the new hotel? It mm -hmm. wasn't ready yet at that time. Um, but I said, You know, oh my God, it's already been built. It's like new because. It's all, it needs to be new mm -hmm. in the in the film as yeah. well, right? Yeah. It it cannot be an old hotel that they they're not trying to refurbish an old hotel, but running in, a in, new, in, but running like making hotel. it from scratch, yeah. like running it uh, uh, from scratch. So I was like, oh my god, this couldn't be more, you know. Another suitable. pieces of the yes, puzzle yes, just answered, yes. so that it uh -huh. fits into it your. It fits into the everything. Yeah, okay, into that's plan. great. Now. Um, so you, we were talking earlier on the sideline that uh, there was gruesome preparation before you went into production, mm -hmm. and I think ex especially the main three main characters uh, they take out of it having learned new mm -hmm. skills. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know Shanti; she yes. was a musician; yes. she mm -hmm. sings. Mm -hmm. But Tara and Tatiana mm -hmm. are not. Yes. But they have some kind of, of course, they have arti ar ar artistic background. Mm -hmm. So uh, would you say how if you? be able to speak for them, uh, how how exciting it was for them to actually learn new skills and walk out of this movie set ha having been able to sing properly. Well, I think it's it's very, very, uh, um, I, it's an eye-opening and a heart-opening experience mm -hmm. for both of them, as well as for Shanti, yeah. I think, because I know she's been waiting for this kind of role for almost like 20 years mm -hmm. uh, in her career. Uh, but for Tara and Tatiana, I think I heard Tara saying that, I might want to write some songs <laughs> and, of course. you know, launch my own uh, music like my own music mm -hmm. uh, next year and mm -hmm. I said you know you should do that mm -hmm. why not and Tatiana it's so cute because her voice is actually very unique uh, my focal coach you know everybody's like oh my god she's her voice is very unique but mm -hmm. it's uh, a ballad kind of mm -hmm. uh, type of voice, voice that she has mm -hmm. uh, not a musical big voice Shanti has a big voice yeah. Tara has a big voice yeah. but Tatiana is more like ballad singer mm -hmm. like um, alternative ballad singer <laughs> kind of voice but uh, right after we finish shooting together there's like a small musical role uh, on stage that that she took part mm -hmm. and she really enjoyed it as well so I mean why not? <laughs> so we've seen this is somehow an, uh, an evolution for all the actors. Actress. Now, go going back to as a movie director, how do you think you've evolved since you started directing your own? Uh, uh, you were directing commercials, right? oh, commercial. since, since you oh, start yes, from yes. there, yes. and then your first movie, mm -hmm. Chabal Khan, mm -hmm. and then you went uh, to Arisan. Mm -hmm. There are numerous movies you've received awards mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. until today. How do you? How would you say you've evolved as a movie maker, as a filmmaker? Well. Um, First of all, I, I usually wrote my script based on uh, whether it is my uh, anger <laughs> or my worries mm -hmm. about what I see in society. Mm -hmm. um, well, this this time, this one is based on my question mm -hmm. of the classical together. Unanswered question. An, that unanswered <laughs> question. Why? Why women? often are portrayed only busy with wanting to build a family mm -hmm. 
is there any other uh, goals you know, in passion their lives. Yeah. or or needs mm -hmm. that is also as important as as uh, building their family or mm -hmm. building their marriage getting married mm -hmm. to somebody mm -hmm. And that was actually uh, a general question for for several or uh, many women I know. Like they they often also ask that questions. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's from from that perspective, it's already a different start. Uh, it's it's not based on anger. It's just based on curiosity, mm -hmm. <laughs> not based on worries not based on anger because when I do uh, when I did berbagi suami it's like ah, I hate polygamy like yeah. it's all based on uh, that kind of emotion so it's really fun uh, because I mean, there's nothing wrong for you to only have the dream to become a housewife who am I to tell yeah. or judge to say that right to yeah. say or judge but I also want to give a different perspective that there are other people who are not afraid to say that no my passion is not only about building a family building a family I have other passions so uh, and then we we uh, we shouldn't judge that kind of uh, w woman with that kind of perspective mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. And so it's a fun ride. I think this is the most fun film I've ever done. And uh, when I edit the film, I, we did the editing, we picture lock. Uh, now it's in the final stage of post-production. But I work with most people that has been in my team since Chabao Khan, yeah. uh, in, even in the post-production. So they know my kind of work. And then they were like, enjoying the film while doing all the process and they said because they, the, the post-production people they didn't go to the shooting of right so the filming and they're like oh my god this is i think the mo the uh you know your most fun film that doesn't have any <laughs> you know like any critical uh issues yeah. you know and and stuff but i said to myself well yeah i think this is just fun but if you look deeper uh, you will see that the the girls are also breaking some boundaries, yeah. but because it's a musical, uh, it's like it's really it it blends mm -hmm. uh, with everything, so you don't feel that it's kind of like controversial. <laughs> there you go. You got half of your reviews and work cut out for you. Fifty, <laughs> at least half, fifty percent of it. You're, the crews enjoyed, uh, post productions yeah. enjoyed editing the movie, and director had a tremendous time. That's the, the one of the be most important reasons for you to go see actually Tiga Dara. But we, we'll, when we come back, we'll talk more about Nyadinata.